What is up everybody? I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and I want to make it as easy for you to recreate sections and designs from bigger brands in the web. And I stumble across this lovely looking collection tab section right here. And in a few easy steps, I'm going to show you how you can get something like this for your very own store for almost the money and you can customize everything the way you like it. So let's get right into it. The first thing I did first is that I downloaded the section store app. It's a component library from Shopify with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And the one we will be having a look at today, which is going to make it possible to recreate that is the collections eight sectioner. This is the one. And instead of paying me a lot of money to custom build that for you, you can get this section for a little fee of $9. That means if you paid once, you also own it forever. So no reoccurring subscription fee or whatsoever. And you can also customize it to your likings. So those are a bunch of really nice benefits about this app and section, I'd say. So after successfully getting the section, you just have to head back to the My Sections area of the app, scroll all the way down until you find the Collections 8, add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme, but it does work on every theme. Open it up in the theme editor right here, and then you're already good to go. Already opened up my theme editor, and that is one little version I built already. As you can see right here, those are all the blocks which are inside the section. And if I would add it completely from scratch, I just have to click on Add Section, type in Collections 8, and you pretty much get something similar to this. But now I want to walk you through everything. So yeah, to change one of those blocks right here, just click on it. And here you can see Collection 6. And instead of that, we want to type in Explore... Let's just do sections for the sake of this tutorial. I could change the icon right here, but I could also upload a custom image. So if I just put in something like that here, that's just a really random example. You can see that image is getting uploaded and now I can also link it to a collection. I'm just gonna do a really random one. And if I want, for example, I could change it to orange as well. So that is something which is easily possible. So now I wanna do some more customizations to the whole thing itself. So I just click on the main block for example, I could decide how many blocks I want to see per row. So instead of three, I could do four. And also the whole thing is, of course, fully responsive, which you can see right there. And here I just want to have one. This way I can avoid that it's overlapping that much. Let's just let this load up real quick. Yeah, as you can see right here, now it's looking way better. This is a really nice way to showcase this section. And you can change the font, the text size, whatever you name it, actually, and a lot of other things as well like for example, what background those little blocks have. So if I want to have it in this little base tone, that's also possible. All the hovers are changeable. And yeah, you name it, pretty much everything in the section is changeable. Let's just save it, all, save it all up, have a final look at it in the live version. And then we can already round this bad boy up. Let's see if our changes got implemented. Yeah, this is looking nice. We also get this nice little animation if we hover over it. And here we can see our custom image as well. You can get really creative with this. And at the end of the day, you want to customize it to your likings. But yeah, hope this gave you a nice little overview of how the section can work. And yeah, with that being said, have a good one, guys. And peace out.